What do you think is on the horizon with AI in the future? Right. So my, my central argument is that artificial intelligence has reached a point where it's really going to be, become a substitute for a lot of human thoughts. So it's, it's what we're going to see is the automation, not just of, mu of muscle power, which we've seen in the past, but really a brain power. You know, computers are quite literally beginning to think, at least in a limited way. And I think that really the central technology that's really driving this is machine learning. It's algorithms that can look at data and based on that, it can learn. And what that means is that this technology is finally beginning to compete with our core competence, the thing that really sets people apart, right? I mean, you might ask the question, well, we've had all this techno technological progress for you know, centuries since the Industrial Revolution. Why aren't we already unemployed? And I think that the answer to that is that we have this ability to think, to adapt, to learn, to do new things. That's what so far has allowed us to stay ahead of technology. But now the technology is beginning to compete directly in that area, directly with that that thing that really sets us apart. And I think that that is quite different. And that's the thing that I think is going to be quite disruptive in the coming decades. So my expectation is that maybe within the next 10 to 15 to 20 years, we are going to see a big disruption. A lot of jobs are going to disappear. And it's going to be a lot of jobs that we generally don't normally associate with the idea of robots or automation. It's going to be skilled jobs, white collar jobs jobs done by people with university degrees. It might be, you know, doctors, radiologists, and lawyers, and journalists, and people like that, as well as, of course, uh, all the more less skilled jobs as well, things like driving vehicles. So I anticipate that this is going to be a big disruption. There are certainly people that disagree with that, people that think uh, this time is, is not different, that it's the same old story again and again. Uh, but, you know, I would argue that it is true that, that so far we've already We've always been able to adapt to technology, but there's no economic law that says that will always be true. I mean, at some point, technology could reach the point where it's really going to begin to displace us on a very broad basis. And uh, I think we're getting very, very close to that point.